has that. Yep. All good. So before we start today, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the island of Lutrawita, where we, where we meet today, the Muwanina people. Their elders past and present, we celebrate and honour their culture and identity, which has been bound up with land, sea, waterways and sky for generations. We acknowledge that the biodiversity that we study and work with is central to their connection to country. So we'll start the session now and I'll hand over to Anne-Sophie from Friends. Is it working? Yes. Thank you, Peggy. <laughs> and so we are going to talk about the 10 years of the Living Atlases community. And I would like to, as an introduction, make a little wrap up of uh, what happened uh, in our community. So it begins a decade ago. Uh, the Living Atlases community was initiated by um, JBF uh, mentoring project between uh, ALA and Costa Rica, uh, the JBF node of Costa Rica. And uh, so they begin this mentoring in 2013. And after they invited other JBF nodes to participate. And uh, we organized several uh, workshops and several uh, mentorings, uh, JBF. And after, in 2014, uh, France, Portugal, and Spain decided to continue the discussions and to take the initiative to adapt the LA software uh, to their own countries and languages. And so we were working on this, and we uh, built the JB Spain portal, JB France portal, and uh, in uh, 2014 and 2015. And then uh, numerous nations have become part of our community. We um, presented at different workshops and uh, we said you can also uh, join the community. And each um, uh, portal, each nation bringing uh, unique requirements, setups, linguistic variations, and even some uh, customization. And so uh, the idea was also to keep working to make it easier for others who want to join um, uh, the open community around the Atlas of Living Australia software. Um, that is going to be the most easy, easy way it could be possible. So the idea today is to show how uh, the, uh, open tools are really uh, helpful, how the community also is really important because we were working all together. And uh, for this, we are going to show you, present you some uh, um, uh, presentation from the different uh, countries who install uh, the Living Atlases portal. And we will begin with uh, Dimitri Bossens, which is coming from Inbo in Belgium. And this presentation is uh, Towards the Atlas of Living Flanders, a Challenging Path. <laughs> uh, yeah. 